Welcome to Tutorials for Reaper.com. This is the first tutorial video that we have made, and uh, we're assuming that you have Reaper installed already. If you don't, um, please request a install tutorial video. I'll definitely make one up for you. But we're going forth that we have already gotten installed. So we're going to go over a couple of things here. This is a very basic video. We have the basic interface. This is the default view, default theme. And as you can see, we have our master uh, channel right here. No tracks or anything. Up here in this top area, across the top, is called the TCP. Then down here we have the mixer view. Most of the time when I'm recording, I will go to view and I'll take off the mixer because I don't really need the mixer up until after I've got a bunch of tracks recorded. But for the time being, I'll keep the mixer open because there'll be a couple of things that you can do on either the TCP or the mixer, which is a nice feature. Now we need to look at your audio interface to make sure everything is configured properly. Usually it is, but we want to go up here to the top right where it has your, uh, your kilohertz and your bitrate. And you click on that, left click on that. And this is, the, this is the device area that's going to open up. So this audio system right here, mine's on wave out since, like I said, I don't have a um, USB or Firewire interface. I just have my internal sound card. But if you do have a USB or Firewire interface, you're going to click on here and go to ASIO. And it should pop up with your you know, driver. What do you have? A Motu, an Mbox, um, FirePod, you know, whatever you might have. You're going to select it out of this list, and then you're going to select the first option, which will be your channel one, and then it's asking you what your last input you want it to pick up will be. So if you want to be full featured, you'll select your last input. If you only want to do one and two, you can only do one and two. And the same thing goes for your output range. If you have eight outputs and you want to be able to utilize all of them, you can go ahead and do that. But if you only want to use the first two, then just select you know as your first one, number one, and as your last one, number two. And then once you're all set, press OK. I have to switch back to Wave Out since I don't have an audio interface like a USB or Firewire. So we'll click OK. Now we want to be able to record some audio. So we're going to click on this area, or any area rather. We're going to press Control T. That'll make you a new track. You can also right click in the TCP area and click on Insert New Track move down a little bit. You can also double click the TCP area or the mixer area or you can go to track and insert new track. So there's quite a few ways to get your audio tracks on or your tracks in general it goes for MIDI as well on the uh, on the mixer or the the track control panel. So I'm going to click on the last one, hold shift, click on the first one, and I'm going to press the delete key to get rid of them all so that I don't have to look at them because we only want to use one at a time. So let's add one more track. And to name these, you can either go in the TCP area and double click next to the number and type in a name, say audio, press enter. Or, as you can see where the title is down here, right underneath the mute and solo button, you can double click and do the same exact thing. Also, you want to make sure that you save your session. I'd recommend doing it before you start anything by going to File, Save Project As, and then navigating to the area that you want to save it, where I will save it to a folder on my desktop called Tutorials for Reaper. And then let's name it Tut 1.1. Save. And now, after saving, all files that we record will go into that folder. Now, after we did our interface, we have to make sure we can actually hear ourselves. If I just click on this arm key right now, you can see my signal, but since I'm using my laptop, I can't actually hear myself until I turn on my monitoring button, which is this little speaker right here. So there's two different, there's three different options that are uh, by clicking. So if by default it's off, there's no monitoring. So if you have a USB interface like a Mbox or anything like that, you're going to use your direct 
input sound and mix it with your DAW sound or your Reaper, you know, your computer output. If you don't have a USB and you have a FireWire, you're going to have to turn on this monitoring. And there's also auto, which um, and intelligently will turn on and off your monitoring depending on uh, signal going into the to the input. Let's. Um, I'm going to keep that off for now because I don't need it. And we're going to click on the arm button and to start recording, we're just going to simply click the record button. You don't have to click record and then play. As soon as you click record, it'll start going um, right away. And another note, you want to make sure you're at the beginning of the session, which you can do by pressing the home key, or you can press this back arrow key uh, right here. So we're going to click record, and it'll start recording my voice instantly, no problems at all. And then we're going to click on stop. And this window pops up. It will ask you, do you, what do you want to do with this particular sound that you recorded? Do you want to save all? Do you want to delete it? And if you have, uh, you know, if you did multiple multiple tracks at the same time, you can go through and delete um, individual ones to get rid of them. I'm going to save all on here. Unarm this and unpress the arm button. Now that we have a track recorded, we want to put some effects onto the track. So how do we do that? There's two ways. One, you can click on the effects button on the TCP area, which will pull you up to this menu here for adding in. But uh, let's go to the Caucus ones, which are the default Reaper uh, plugins that are included. And let's go to the re-EQ and press OK. This is the default EQ. You can you know change it. It's um, you know, a nice graphic. Sounds pretty good, especially for a stock EQ and let's close that now you could do it through the tcp which i just did by clicking this button or you can add it by clicking this area up here see how the shade changes the above area and you could select i'm going to select the, the compressor this time recomp press ok and then we have you know compressor options whatever you want to change it to always go by sound not just by numbers and now to disable them, if you don't want the EQ on, you can right click on them and say disable effect. See how it changes colors. And then we're going to re enable by doing that. That's one way to disable the plugin, or you can click on them and uncheck this area up here. It says 100% wet. You can uncheck that. That also disables it, as you can see the, the color changed or to disable the entire chain, which is every single uh, plugin on that particular channel, you can click this little circle on the TCP area next to the effects that as it turns red, it disables everything. Same as down here. And you could also, to do that, you could right click and say disable chain. Disable chain. So we know how to put the effects on, we know how to use the options by just going in and moving things around. We know how to disable them, but now we want to get rid of them, which is just as simple as right-clicking on the individual one and clicking delete effect. Right-click on this one, delete effect. Or if you had the effects inside of here and you went into this view, the TC, this one shows your entire chain on the left hand side and you can do the same thing by clicking on that and pressing the delete key. The simplicity of recording with uh, Reaper, getting a track on there, recording it, putting some effects on and now to get rid of this track all we do is click on it and press delete. Now I say let's delete it. So that's it for now. Uh, thanks for coming to uh, tutorials for Reaper.com. I'm Johnny from Red Sneaker Records and see you later.